Oscar, you can't rub against the mic stand. Come on. Yeah. So, console players, have you ever wanted to do a teen pregnancy storyline, but you couldn't do a teen pregnancy because obviously we don't have access to mods? Well, I have a workaround for you. How's it going? It's Shiny today here, and welcome to my workaround for a teen pregnancy without mods. Now, is this the perfect situation? No, it's not. Am I specifically making this video with console players in mind? Absolutely. I already made a video about how teens can live alone. I briefly touched on the teen pregnancy workaround then, but I wanted to go more in detail about it because it's a little bit more complicated than I initially made it sound. Sorry for that. A too long didn't read version before I get into the how to is that you're going to need to have your adult or young adult sim get pregnant, serve the full term of pregnancy, have the baby be born, and then cast full edit mode and age them back down to a teenager. Nothing changes in the family tree. It is still your child. You're still able to care for it and everything else as a teen. The only difference is you would have had to serve the getting pregnant and pregnancy itself up until the birth as an adult. So that's kind of annoying, but once the baby's born, you can age them back down to a teen. So let's get into how you're going to be able to do that. So there are two ways you can go about this. You can either make the sim as a teen and then have to age them up to a young adult, get them pregnant, serve the pregnancy, have the baby, age them back down to a teen. Or alternatively, have your sim as a young adult in CAS and then move them in, get them pregnant, serve the pregnancy, everything, na 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 na, have the baby, and then age them back down to a teenager. I have done a full video about how to use cheats and how to bring them up and everything else like that. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. And if you want to go have a look and if you need help, then uh, cards, whichever side, I never know which side the cards are. What you're going to do, you're going to do cast.full edit mode and you are going to be able to edit your pre-existing teens now. Something to note is the reason why you cannot edit your sim while they're pregnant to age them back down into a teen once they've gotten pregnant because you can't edit pregnant sims. At least not without mods, but you cannot edit pregnant sims. You have to wait for them to have the baby. So what I did during the research for this video is because you're playing with cheats anyways, right? So you clearly are very liberal with using cheats in your gameplay, so whatever, and you don't necessarily want to have to worry about um, <laughs> looking after the sim while you need to try and get through pregnancy because you need to get to the infant. Disable need decay so that for the three days you just speed run it and you put three times speed and off you go. Also, alternatively, if you don't want to serve pregnancy but you do want to end up still having a child, the same method could, I guess, be used if you've got a young adult and you have them adopt an infant and then <laughs> then once they've been adopted and the baby has arrived, age your, your, your sim back down into a teen and then Bob's your uncle, off you go. But I hope this helps. It's a way to work around things without having mods. I'm trying to make consoles life easier. So it's a little bit of a workaround. It's not perfect. I know it would be better with mods. It would be better if we could edit pregnancy, pregnant sims, but unfortunately not the case. And that's the best that I have for you. But that's going to be the video. I hope you did enjoy. As always, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Remember that we all human differently and I'll see you guys again soon. Dag dag.